Good morning. It's uh, it's actually morning this time. It's like 10. Never mind, it's 9.30, even better. Starting off this morning by watching Breakfast Stream, and I edited yesterday's video. But yesterday's video was a pretty easy edit because it was less than three minutes long. Today, however, I am expecting it to be a little more robust. You see, today is the last day that we're gonna be here before we leave out. Like, we fly out to Barbados tomorrow. Maybe. More on that in a second. But, um, in the event that we do fly out, which is probably what's gonna happen, I wanted to prepare as best I can. So there's just a bunch of stuff that I needed to do, um, just to make sure everything is perfectly squared away. And uh, that's that's the goal today. It's just to get myself as prepped as possible for tomorrow. Oh boy. All right. So here's the plan. We're at Best Buy, and I'm going to look for a Chromecast. And now, hopefully, what the Chromecast is going to do is allow me to take the feed from, like, Spectrum on my iPad and then put that onto the TV. Will that work? I don't know, but we're here to find out. If it works, good. If it doesn't, we return it. That's just how that works. Which is love. I swear, there's, like, no one in here. Like, we've been looking, and there's, like, two people that work here weird for like a big store that's supposed to like sell things okay we found them they're supposed to be right here and uh they're apparently at the register because this whole thing here is empty but it's fine we found them and they're not that expensive so that's that's preferable it's preferable oh look it's it's my current camera that's the view this time we got yeah did a slight deviation of plans. We didn't get the Chromecast, so I ended up getting a Roku Express because I saw on the side it works with AirPlay. And I know for a fact Roku has a Spectrum app on it, so I think in general this might be easier to work with than the Chromecast because at least I know Roku. Chromecast, it would have been more of a crapshoot. But we got the thing. All right, next stop Cakes and Sticks. I'm kidding. We're going to Staples. We need to print something. It's like a really weird change of events. We actually went to like go to Staples to actually like, you know, do the thing we were supposed to do. Print out what we were supposed to print out. And it was so expensive, we just left. Like it would cost almost a hundred dollars to print everything we needed to print. We had to make a quick pit stop to visit uh, an old friend. Someone I've known since I was like a teeny tot. And um, after that, I think we're going home. I have work to do, so I hope we're going home. But you never know. But you never know. So I made it back home, and um, we're putting together the Roku. I guess I can show the TV. We're trying to like get that situated so that we can um, see if we can get the uh, get the uh, cable on the TV. That's what we're doing this for. I'm pretty sure the idea is sound. Like the idea makes sense. It has. I'm pretty. I know. Roku has the Spectrum app on it, and I know that it has AirPlay on it. So in theory, I can just cast to the Roku, and it will be easier than using the Fire Stick because the Fire Stick was a the Fire Stick was a whole issue. Yeah. But um, we'll see. Like I said, if it don't work, we send it back. Oh, it's adding so much. It's adding so much. And then Discovery Plus is last. We'll never use it. <laughs> All done. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's done. I just wanted to make a quick complaint about this UI. Whose idea was this? Why is it all a straight line? Like, if I want to get anywhere, I have to go in a straight line. At least to its benefit, it wraps. But, like, if I want to get to a number, and now i got to go to a whole separate menu. And if I want special characters, that's another separate menu. That is so frustrating. That's it. That's the end of my rant. And here's another thing, because I'm not quite done yet. If you want a capital letter, you got to hover, hover over the lowercase letter and then go up. Okay, so let's conduct the test now. I'm going to put on this channel here. And then we have the list of, like, airplay devices. We'll go down to that. 
this should be it. So now I tap that and it should airplay. Airplay's good. We like airplay. Oh, okay. Um, we get the code. We type in the code. And, and, and. We got it to work. So now, in theory, I can change the channel here, and it will change the channel up there. It worked. We did it. Awesome. So I ordered something last night, and I was lucky enough to get the one-day shipping. And it says it should be here. Uh, right. uh, there it is. I got excited and opened the package, but it's an ND filter for this right here, the Sony ZV-E10. I didn't have an ND filter for it, and I figured we're going to a tropical country. It's going to be really bright. I should probably own one of these. So I hope I bought the right size. It says right there zero or 40.5 so i got a 40.5 i just kind of hope that works my parents went and got i think they went and got like pedicures or something and that's them just now coming back i can't see them from that anyway it's been a couple hours now and it feels like it i've been sitting here doing this assignment for school and then i'm gonna go outside and test this thing out just to see how I like it. I haven't opened it yet, but I want to put it on the camera and use it while it's still like somewhat daylight outside. Um, it's an ND filter. I don't know if I said that already. It's an ND filter, which is just to, when it's really bright outside, it helps to minimize a lot of the light without making the quality worse, if that makes sense. So I just took it out of the box and I'm just very confused as to why it would come in a case this big. But anyway, see if I can take it out with one hand. I doubt it. This seems like it's upside down. Oh, there it is. Yeah, that case seems like overkill. Wait, there it is. Let's go see if it fits on the camera. The time is now 11.30. I have done basically all of the work that I could possibly have gotten done because I realized the second assignment I needed to do is reliant on some of my other team members to do their parts first. So it looks like that's just kind of out of the picture, which means I'm going to be doing some work on the trip and that's not fun, but I tried my best. Anyway, I repacked my bag and then I have my backpack basically all set up. I just need to put my computer and my iPad back in it and then it's all set. Anyway, um, my call time for tomorrow, like my wake up time is 4 a.m. And it is currently 11.40, which means I need to go to bed. So I'm gonna end it here. Um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow for a lot. A lot. <sighs> you have to turn that off.